Hi. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We are in the car, in Gabby's car. You guys gotta see. She keeps this thing clean. Can I say something? What? Is it just me that it's hard for her to get in this truck, car? Because I'm used to the van where it's like taller. You step up. I know. On this one, you have to sit down. Because when I step in it, and then I go to put yeah, my head in, and hits the wall. I hit my head every time. And you make a mess. And that is not good. Gabby, do you want your wet wipes back there so you can clean while we drive? Stop. <laughs> it's true. She's a clean girl. Anyway, it's welcome good. to today. Yeah, it's so good. I love that. If only I could get them cleaning my van. Yeah. Welcome to today. We're headed out. We have riding lessons finally. And we are going to do something fun first. We should have brought Daisy. We should have brought the dogs. That would have been so much fun. Anyway, Daisy would have thrown up. we are at our local apple orchard because there's my brother that I haven't seen. We need some pumpkins and we need some fruit and we need some fall decor so that we can take pictures. This weekend I'm hoping to take pictures of our horses, fall pictures. I love them. We have a small pumpkin for Trixie. And this is where you go to get pumpkins. Come on, lazy bones. That's a lot of pumpkins. A lot of pumpkins. Five bucks for a small, 10 bucks for a large. We're gonna pick pumpkins and we're gonna get apples. Let's go see what kind of apples they have. I don't want apples. Oh, I love apples. You know, can we get some for a willow? Willow like that. Okay, I'll go get my... I love setups like this. When I was young, they only had Max, pretty much, so I'm tired of Max. I don't like Max anymore. Sam, what is my favorite kind of apple? <laughs> Favorite apple, um, uh, um, I can't remember the name. What does it look like? Honey crisp. No, I like russet. Russet, that's it. We are here in the bake shop. They have a ton of different stuff. Oh, there's corn. Corn on the cob that's off the cob. Popcorn chicken, buffalo chicken. No, wait, is that popcorn? Popcorn. Dill pickle popcorn. popcorn. So the girls were dying for a caramel apple, candy apple, but they don't have any. They only make them on the weekend. Peanut brittle. Who likes humbug candies? Humbug candies. This is the spot where all the maple syrup is. Canada is known for its maple syrup. Has its own little spot, even maple suckers. Strawberries. Apples, for me, involves just filling up a bag of apples. So I'm getting Crimson Crisp, that's these. I got the big bag, 25 pounds. Crimson Crisp, and then I love Cortland apples. These ones are huge, but I like them. I love fall baking. It's the only time of the year that I really like baking. And then I'm gonna get a few Empire. Empire apple. Okay, comment below. What is your favorite apple? What's your favorite kind of apple? So these candies that I showed you guys, my son bought them. We met my son here. And they are called Ba Humbugs. They're called Humbugs. They're called Humbugs, not Ba Humbugs. <laughs> Anyways. So uh, these are the apples. I got 25 pounds and I got three or four different kinds. What'd you get? Popcorn. Sophie got popcorn. Gabby, what'd you get? Peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. And we got apple crisp. So today is a super lucky day. Why is it a super lucky day? Because I got a fairy egg. A fairy egg is typically an egg that a chicken lays when it lays its very first egg or its first few eggs. And I'm so excited to show it to Sophie. I noticed in the comments um, that one of our viewers, long, -term, long time viewers was dismayed that we don't eat our eggs we eat every egg we will if there's an egg that's not good or that's like cracked or has like a spot where bacteria could get in we crack them for our chickens and sometimes we just crack them for our chickens for fun because chicken eggs are really really good for chickens really healthy for them and so we want them to have everything that they can especially going into winter we we feed them like a lot of fruits and vegetables and and produce and stuff and protein to keep them growing strong and healthy for winter. So that is why we sometimes feed them our eggs, but we have dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of eggs. No fairy eggs. And um, 
we share them with our friends and we share them with our family and we eat a lot of eggs in this family. Hello? Can I come in? My hands are full. Ugh. Hi, Chino's a bum. All right, Chino's getting groomed. I have an apple for Chino for when he's done. Put it right here. We got a fairy egg. We got a fairy egg. You know what a fairy egg is? Yeah, it's a new layer. Willow is learning how to step up on things. And she's doing amazing, just like normal. Like the horse is a genius. Somebody always wants to teach her how to sit down. So we're researching that, trying to figure out the best way to do it that's the most kind and gentle with her. Never store apples between your legs. <laughs> because horses can tell. <laughs> That's our little show pony. <laughs> Two feet on. Well, that was your last treat. I have a whole other apple here. Well, last treat that I'm going to Good girl. She is an amazing off. pony. <laughs> the only thing between Sophie and this pony learning stuff is just getting the pony to understand what she wants, what Sophie wants. Like once the pony understands, she does anything Sophie asks. You can see she's lifting up her foot there. She just, I don't know if she cannot see no, that. She's on the tree. Oh. But she like keeps overstepping. Why don't you tap it to tell her where to put her foot? We're also going to be teaching her to sit down really, really soon. Come on. Come with me. We'll go for a little walk. Come on. Gabby, I'll come out when you're ready. Ooh, come on. Oh my goodness. I just brushed you. What the heck? Come on, Penny. Come on. Are you coming? Come on, sweet girl. Good girl. Yeah, I'll brush you. I'll brush you as soon as we get to the gate. Whoa. Peekaboo. <laughs> Just a little bite. Good girl. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What? We're overstepping all the way over the top. Hey, back up. Don't go in my space. Oh, you're getting too fast. Too fast. Back up. <laughs> she is she's a weirdo. She's like, okay, this is what you want. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's counting. You should teach her to count next. Like there's so many things. I need to make a list. Every morning Sam comes out and does a bunch of chores that he makes up for himself each day. He sets all these goals now that he's home. So one of them today was to move the poop pile. I'm just waiting for Gabby to come out and uh, so I can video her ride and send it to Brandon. The only reason Chino's still here is I'm making sure that his feet are okay. I, like sometimes I don't know. I never know for sure if he's gonna adjust well to a pad on his feet. So I'm just waiting because our farrier uh, works from our area so it's easier for her to come here to take care of him. So just waiting to make sure that his pads are okay on his feet. So she's gonna do one last ride and then he'll be going back for the winter so she can ride. Today started out kind of like a bad day. Things just were not going right. And now it's just totally turned itself around. Sometimes I ask myself like, why is this dress here? What lesson am I meant to learn? And sometimes I think it's just learning how to deal with stress and how to push it behind you and turn a bad day into a good day. And fortunately for us, it turned into a good day. Gabby's riding with this. <laughs> oh no, not again, he says.
Gabby's riding in this rope halter. It's the first ride in it. We've been trying different bitless options on Chino, and so far he hasn't really appreciated any of them. But to be fair, every one that we've tried has had an issue. So we're trying this one. I have dirt on your face. You do too. <laughs> I have dirt on my face? Where? It's gone now. Chino is looking really good. He looks chubbier in the camera than out of the camera, but he is looking good. <laughs> Let me love you. Come on, let's not ride. Oh, he wants to chew your leather belt? Sneaky boy. Actually, he does look a little chubby. For me, a little chubby going into winter is not a bad thing. Are you ready, Chino Bambino? He's such a pretty boy. Like, he's such a pretty baby. What? You're giving her a break because you're proud of her? Yes. You have a video? Okay. Two feet on the top thing. I was holding the bottom so it didn't flip. And then... Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. So we She's need to get something... Five minutes as well. We should get a tire and fill it with sand and then put it in there, just a small yeah. one. All right. Off she goes. <laughs> he's still not sure he's riding. Chino looked really weird. She rode him in the arena. He started looking like he was lame. And I'm like, what the heck? How does that happen? So he gets back. She brings him back. We look at his feet. Lost his shoe. I can literally know, I literally know where his shoe is because he was going good, good, poof, lame. Whoa! Until that thing flips over. That's so good. Yeah, she needs something stronger. Wow, look at her. She's something cylindrical. Be proud that I could say that. <laughs> she meant circular. Just be proud she could say cylinder. All right, guys, we're at a crossroads. What are we going to do? I say, we, I say he take the shoes off. All right, Sophie's going to show us one last time how she does it now. So this is all brand new today. This is a new trick Sophie taught her today. No, no other training in this. <laughs> you into that tall. I swear to God, I'm considering taking this boy's shoes off. I swear he's telling me to take his shoes off. I don't know. Yeah, he'll be lame. He'll be sore for a little bit. He'll be sore. Until we put the shoes back on. Well, I... Even after we put the shoes back on. No halter! Okay, do it with no halter. Okay, let's try it without a halter. Let's see. <laughs> oh, she's so chubby, but she so loves to work. Don't you know that you're beautiful?